Welcome! Today I'm going to show you how to program an extra for the Guess the Number game. We're supposed to restrict the player to a finite number of guesses, and it is perfectly valid and fairly simple to hard code those values, but they do show us how to calculate them using an algorithm. They give us an equation to do that. The equation is in the form of a to the n equals m and we need to solve for n where n is the minimum number of guesses. We can do that using logarithms. Now logarithms sound kind of scary but really all they are is the inverse function of exponentiation. So what does exponentiation do? It just multiplies a number by itself a bunch of times. So 2 to the 3 equals 2 times 2 times 2, right? 2 times itself 3 times, which equals 8, because 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. Now, this also means that log base 2 of 8 equals 3, because the exponent takes a number, multiplies it by itself a bunch of times, and gets the result. The logarithm asks, what power do I have to raise this base to to get this result? And we just saw that the answer for that, for this particular problem, is 3. The more general form of that is to say that if a to the n equals m, then log base a of m equals n. I can show that using some examples using 10. So we know that 10 to the 2 equals 100 and that 10 to the 3 equals 1000. If those are true, which I'm going to show that they are in a minute, then log base 10 of 100 should equal 2 and log base 10 of 1000 should equal 3. Now. I'll show you on a calculator, but first I need to say some things. Most calculators have buttons for logarithm and this LN button. The log button takes the log with the base of 10, and the LN button takes the logarithm with the base of E. This is also known as the natural logarithm, and you'll see a lot of it in calculus. Python and mo most other languages do not have a lin function. Instead, they default the log function to be log base e. Now that we have that out of the way, I can show you that these equations are true. If I can get the whole calculator on the screen, which I can't, so I'll just make it so you can maybe see the result. Okay, 10 to the 2 equals 100, so log base 10 of 100 equals 2, and log 10 to the 3rd equals 1,000, so log base 10 of 1,000 equals three, and yes, I am left-handed. So, there. Yeah. We've proved that this general form holds, at least for these examples. So, now we can get on to the actual problem at hand. See, Python has its own functions. So, the problem at hand is to find our specific lowest guess number. We're given the equation 2 to the n equals high minus low plus 1, where n is the minimum number of guesses to be found, high is the maximum number in the range of guesses, low is the minimum number in the range, and we add 1 to that. The reason that this is the equation that we use is actually a lot of high-level math and computing. It would be interesting to look into, but I'm not going to show you today. Anyways, this is simply an equation in the form of 
a to the n equals m. So we can transform that into log base a e of m equals n. Now, this right here is the equation that you will want to use in your Python code. I will show you how to do that shortly. Okay, so earlier I showed you how to get the formula that we're using. I'll show you how we implement that in Python in a second, but first I want to make sure that we have the syntax correct. I've transformed the problems that I solved on my calculator earlier into Python code using the exponent operator and math.log, which as you can see takes two arguments. Why does it take two arguments? Well, let's check the docs on that once they figure out that they want to load. Okay, so math is a standard module, and there it is, and we're looking for the math.log function, and we see that it takes its math.log, x, and base, and we see that when we use that, it takes the log of x in base base. Okay, that sounds simple enough. So let's make sure that I got that right, and yeah, I did. So let's just make sure that these functions return what I think they should, and they do. It's important to note that log is returning floats here and not integers. So now that we know that we have the syntax right, we can control K to comment out the tests, and we also can now have a function to implement our formula from earlier. This is the one-line version which you may or may not want to use in your Guess the Number project. It does return the correct value, because you see here in range 100, it prints 7. But this other function, it does the exact same thing, except that I take the steps individually and actually explain it. So let's take a look. It solves our formula 2 to the n equals high minus low plus 1, and it solves it for n using our other formula, n equals log base 2 of high minus low plus 1. So I print that out, and oh, I forgot to say earlier that this formula returns the absolute minimum number of guesses needed, which is usually a irrational number. So we need to round that up to the next largest whole number, and we can do that using math.ceiling. Math.seal, sorry. So you can trust me that that rounds up, or we can look back at the docs again, it's right here. And the docs show that if you take a number that's already an int, it'll give that int, but if you take anything else, it'll give the next highest integer. So back to the code now. Um, this line just rounds it up, which we'll see, and it's still giving floats, and we want ints because they're nicer to deal with for our purposes. So this function is going to return the integer form of the rounded up guesses. We can test this out using these statements where I call the function and then test if it equals the value that I'm expecting. And it does in both of my test cases. You can also see that the absolute minimum is 6.2 six something which rounds up to 7.0 and the integer form of that is 7. I want to show some more things with this and I could th do that by commenting out the print statements or since I also have a function that does the equivalent work I can just use it. So we can here show that the minimum number of guesses in a given range is 7 for range 
0 to 100 and 10 for range 0 to 1000, just as we are told in the program description. This is nice, but you're probably wondering how you can actually use this in your program. Well, for one, you can allow for the user to set a custom range. You can then set the maximum guesses using one of these functions. Now, I'm also going to show just some basic ideas of why we're using binary search. So let's just start from the beginning. What if I'm only interested in numbers from 0 to 1 in range 1? So that's simply 0, so there's only one option, so you would expect to only need one guess. Okay, simple enough. Sort of the same with range 2. There's only two values in that range, so you would expect to only need two guesses. Now, okay, how about range 3? There's only three values in the list, so you'd expect to only need three guesses, except, aha! Here we have a list of three numbers in increasing order, such that A is less than B, which is less than C. Our function, well, our game, will take our guess and then tell us if we've found the right number or if the number is higher or lower. So in this case, we can guess the middle number, and if it's correct, we're good. If it's not, the program will tell us either higher or lower, and there's only one possible guess there. So for range 3, you actually only need two guesses. Anyways, I hope that this has, video has helped you understand why you need seven guesses for range 100 and 10 guesses for range 1000. And I also hope that you will be able to make a very good program. Good luck.